Welcome back to part four of this bedroom makeover. So for today's video, I'm gonna be finishing up painting this wall and the wall that's right over here to my right. I'm going to be prepping the floors to roll out this vinyl flooring that I got. And my husband is also gonna come up here and help me switch out the fan and these receptacles that have no covers that are extremely dangerous. Um, so we are going to be switching those out today. Um, I can't wait to get this floor, or this flooring. I can't wait to get the flooring down for sure, but I can't wait to get the painting done. That way the room just looks all fresh and clean. I'm just excited about this part. So thank you guys for clicking on today's video. If you missed part one, two, and three, I will have those videos linked down below so you can catch up and watch the entire process over the past couple weeks. But let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Last week's video, I had just got done painting the two walls in the room. I still had two more to go, so I'm going to go ahead and finish those up really fast. Um, the color I'm using is called Repost Gray, and it is by Sherwin-Williams. I'm also using a satin finish. So in last week's video, someone mentioned that I should paint the frame around the air unit the same color as the walls, just so it blended in better and didn't make it a focal point, which I think is such a smart idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but thank you so much for recommending that because that's what I'm going to do. It just looks like an eyesore. <laughs> so I'm going to paint over the white trim that I painted and hopefully it'll blend in a little bit better. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. I will be doing like a frame around here going over this board by the way. I just needed that there because the air unit needed something to sit onto. Um, but I'm gonna paint this right here, the same color as the wall. So it does look a lot better. It helps just make it blend a little bit better. It does need another coat, but much, much nicer. I actually would love if I could just like paint the whole thing the same color as the wall, but I don't know if that's smart. <laughs> probably not. It's probably gonna peel. So I'll just leave it how it is. In last week's video, I did go a little bit more in depth on caulking and how to do this kind of just step by step. And it's such an easy fix. It makes a huge difference. So if you missed that video, I will be sure to have that one linked below.
done with most of the caulking. The more I look around, the more I keep finding, and I'm literally gonna spend days if I want to be a perfectionist with this room. I gotta stop <laughs> because I have been caulking for the past three hours. Like, I'm not even, I almost said a bad word. I'm not even kidding you. It's, it's that serious. Um, so, I'm moving on to flooring. I'm gonna take this old scraper, rusted old scraper, scrape the floor, make sure there's nothing sticking up because a lot of the advice y'all gave was to make sure there was nothing um, hard or like no dust or nothing down below or it would show through. So I'm gonna make sure that I get everything up right now. So I'm just using a little scraper that I found out in the back shed and I'm just gonna go space by space and just scrape the floor. This worked really great. This thing was actually really sharp so it I mean, I barely had to put any effort into this. I just glided it across the floor and it was just popping up everything. So it worked out great. scrape the floor. I believe I got everything up, um, but I am going to mop it using one of my old, 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 I can't talk today at all. I can't ever talk. I'm just going to just roll with it. I'm going to er, <laughs> I'm going to mop, not paint. I'm going to mop with my OCD mop, my old one. That way I can just, that way I can just toss the um, mop head away once I'm done because this floor is probably extremely dirty. So, we're going to start with first mop and see how it goes. <laughs> break the kids are playing that's why I keep looking that way in case you're wondering what I'm looking at <sighs> mopping the floors or concrete floors is no joke the mop does not glide across the floors like it would at home <laughs> and I quickly realized that when I started I was like man I just really made some work for myself here so I took some tide a splash of bleach in my OC or mop mopped the floors really quick so that way I got rid of like all that extra dust everything is nice and clean so I can lay down my vinyl and yeah, I'm excited. I am a little nervous, not gonna lie. I kind of noticed something. I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. I already showed you the vinyl that I ended up going with um, in my last video, and this is the color. So you can see with the natural light coming from the window behind here, it is a very beautiful color. It's not too dark or anything like that, but whenever you stand back by the door, look how dark it looks. Oh my gosh, I didn't want too dark a floor and I thought I did a good job at picking it out, but I'm hoping that it's just the lighting right now because this is still yellow light. Oh man, I'm gonna hope for the best because I'm not returning it. <sighs> I don't know what to do, but you know, you live and learn. <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens whenever I lay it. I might have to do a little bit of design changes. I picked out a stain color that I thought would go perfect with this and I was totally off. I went off of memory, which is not a good idea. Don't recommend. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated.
saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name Two to offer you. You need uh, one more? I guess at this point it really doesn't matter because the ground's not hooked up there until I can make a joint. So it's not going to work? No, it's going to work. But it's just going to work the same way it did. Gotcha. That's fine. There's light bulbs work in there. All right, so it is the next day and I wanted to come up here and start working on the vinyl. But before I get started, I did want to share with you a few things that happened yesterday um, because they were just little bumps in the road and I want to be open and honest sometimes, like, well, all the time, whenever things like this happen to show that you know, we're not perfect. It's okay if you have moments where you just kind of got to reevaluate, go back to the drawing board. It happens. And yesterday was one of those moments where I was just like, why? <laughs> um, so first off, the wiring for the receptacles that my husband was going to replace are way too short. So he's got to get more wire to fix that. So that was the first thing that didn't work out. Then the fan he put up that we had stored in our shed, the fan blades are so bent, it, it looks horrible. So we're gonna have to replace the fan blades and I'm probably just gonna use the fan blades off the old fan just to make it more affordable and call it a day. But also the bracket that holds the fan up is not the same size as this fan, so we have to replace that. Then, just to top it off, <laughs> the door that I bought at off Facebook Marketplace is the wrong size. I am like so <laughs> confused on how that happened because I double checked the door multiple times. But what I think happened was the guy that I bought him from, he had multiple doors and I believe he accidentally gave me one that's a little too big. I needed a 80 by 30 door and he gave me an 80 by 32. I think that's what it is. It's just, it's too wide. So we have to cut it down um, about a good inch and a half, if not more than that, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I've already bought the door. We'll figure it out when that comes. But for now, I'm gonna work on the flooring while I have a moment up here by myself and hopefully I can get a lot of it done. But something else I noticed was that the vinyl, the way that it's rolled up in the packaging, it makes it a little too long. So I can't really turn it the width of the room. So I'm gonna have to unroll it and try to move this entire piece of vinyl by myself. I don't know, you guys, I'm just gonna try my best <laughs> and hope for the best because this is a pretty big roll and I really want to do this by myself. I'm like determined to show you that you can do this on your own too. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, so for this 
flooring. You need a razor knife and you need some double-sided adhesive strip. They also sell some glue that you can roll out. Um, they sell all different products for this type of stuff, but I'm going to go the easy route since I am doing this alone. So this is what I bought. And I read a ton of reviews on this. It seems like it's really great. Um, so we shall see. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use this, my razor knife, open up the vinyl and try to get it all in place. It's really not hard to maneuver from what I've noticed. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I just don't want it to get wrinkled. I don't know what to do about the corners here. So. by myself. I got stuff stuck to my shoes. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, okay. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but y'all, the vinyl doesn't fit. <laughs> what do I do? I'm thinking if I turn it running this way because there's some extra room that might work. I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to have to remeasure this out because what I'm thinking is that, because, okay, so I did the flooring going that way, right? But I'm thinking if I turn it and then cut it It'll have like one little seam right here that I'm pretty sure I could just like tape down. You probably wouldn't notice. Add a little bit of like clear um, caulk down the seam so that way nothing falls in there and it doesn't peel up. I think that is probably gonna be my best bet to make it fit because right here on this wall, it doesn't go all the way. And I need to measure this out and make sure this is 15 foot because something something's wrong. Either I am really terrible at measuring things out, or they gave me the wrong size, <laughs> which is probably my fault. It's okay. We'll figure it out. to now go ahead and start cutting around the closet. I made a mistake here and I didn't notice it until I had already cut it and I wish I had known but I should have made sure that the cut around the closet was a little bit longer that way when you stood back from the other 
door, you couldn't see the difference in transition from the closet floor to the floor in the bedroom, if that makes sense. But I cut it a little too short. It's all right. I'm just going to use one of those transition strips and then do um, carpet in the closet. So I will share that later on. Okay, hit a little bump, um, but I fixed it and I think it's fine. You can't tell unless you look for it. But my roll ended up being about two inches short on one corner of the room because the room is not completely level. So I had to piece it together. You know, you can't tell unless you look for it. So once everything is in here, the room has like all the decor and all the things, you'll never know. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Okay, so once the vinyl was completely flat, I am now going to go ahead and take my razor knife and trim around the areas that are a little too long. Now, at first, I was trying to make sure that my line was perfectly straight and it just looked so perfect, but then I realized I'm going to cover all this up anyway with some uh, quarter round trim and you'll never see it. So I just cut it. It ended up being a very <laughs> wonky line, but in the end, it'll all look really nice. I'm just laying down this double-sided tape this um, this like brown part will peel back and then it'll be sticky and it's said to do more in high traffic areas so I'm definitely going to put probably another strip like this just so that way it doesn't bubble up and then I'm gonna go all the way around the entire room all around here and I know that my line looks horrible but it'll all be covered by trim you'll never know it was there but yeah that's where I'm at Okay, so all of the taping is pretty much done except for this one side, but since I laid the floor flat, it's um, slowly but surely starting to flatten out. So all those wrinkles that were in it when I first put it down are starting to smooth out. So instead of me taping tonight, I'm just going to wait till a few days um, till the flooring has time to like really settle and all the wrinkles have time to straighten out before I tape it down. Um, but I wanted to show you how easy this peel and stick tape is to use. I mean, it's foolproof like you cannot mess this up well I mean I guess you could but <laughs> um, it's really easy to use this is what it looks like um, when it's down but whenever you peel it up it has like a sticky side right there and on the other side you want to make sure that your surface is really clean before you stick um, this to the concrete because if not it will just peel up but so far so good see how easy it comes up but I'm going to lay that back down and wait until the floor has time to really level itself out. Okay, so the vinyl flooring is in. It looks really beautiful. It is a lot more cool tone than I thought it was going to be. I truly thought it was going to have a little bit more of those warm tones in there, and that's okay. I'll make it work, but I'm thinking just with like a warmer toned rug possibly will definitely, you know, tie everything back together. However, I do plan on staining the closet door, so that way it just kind of flows nicer. Right now, it's just very orange toned. I feel like sometimes on, on pictures and camera, it doesn't pick up as orange, but you can see here, it's like very orange toned compared to the floors, so that's not gonna work. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing something with that. I have to get all the trim, quarter round, and I'm gonna try to find that cheap. Um, what else do I have to do? Think that's it <laughs> um and then i got to start decorating and doing all the other fun stuff 
To close out today's video, I wanted to share with you a before clip of how the room looked before I even got started. That way you could see how much progress has been made. And I hope these videos are inspiring you and also just showing you that you don't have to have a huge you know, budget. You don't have to have a ton of help to redo a room. You can do it by yourself and it can look just as beautiful as if it was done by a professional. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new flooring. I can't wait to tackle that closet and work on the trim in the next video and then hopefully start working on decorating, which I am dying to get started on. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Switches in the fan and possibly the door. It's a bug on me. It's an ant. <laughs> Just an ant. Oh, I'm so paranoid. My size, who doesn't have. Oh, there's turkeys. Y'all look.